Drink? Julian got out of his chair and poured them both a scotch. He needed to do something other than stare at Alton's golden brown skin and vicious eyes. Alton was the kind of woman who only got more alluring as they got older. She didn't have the flashy beauty like Cressida's unlined youthful radiance. Alton carried herself with the confidence of someone who was truly comfortable in their own skin and knew how to wield her physicality like a weapon. It was like comparing bubblegum vodka to a rich, smoky scotch. Julian loved scotch. The rarer and more aged, the better. I have to admit, Burbank, I thought your office would be a lot more extravagant than this, Alton said, crossing her legs. Her dark eyes took in the bookshelves, the safe, and the few expensive paintings he had on the dark gray walls. Julian passed her a crystal glass of scotch. I'm not stupid enough to keep the good stuff in such an obvious place. He could smell her perfume, pepper and blue lotus, and the cloves from her spicy little cigars. It was sharp and sensual and utterly unique. Julian sat back behind his desk, kneading the barrier between them. She sipped the amber liquid. What can I do for you, Baruch? Julian asked. Alton's gaze sharpened. Do you still have it? You'll have to be a little more specific, love. These necklace, Alton replied. She leaned forward and placed her glass down on the edge of his desk, giving him a tantalizing view straight down the front of her dress. Do you have any idea what it truly is? Julian knew but he still shrugged. Enlighten me. It could be John Dee's fourth seeing stone. He claimed the stone was left for him by the angels and was one of his most prized possessions. Show it to me, and I'll tell you if it's authentic, she replied. Hmm, I bought it because I thought it was pretty. Alton's smile widened. No, you didn't. Stop playing coy and show me. Julian reached into his pocket, pulled out the red box, and placed it on the desk in front of her. Alton opened it and stared at the necklace. After a long moment, she tentatively placed a finger on the stone. Her face shifted, her eyes glassing over. She shuddered and snapped the box closed. It's genuine, she said, and drained her drink. She got up and poured herself another one.